somebody asked me, was this a fluke? Regeneration. The body heals. The process of renewal, of restoration, and of growth. I cannot tell you how encouraged I am. Two of MCW's physicians have made research breakthroughs this year that regenerated hope for patients. It's amazing. Fond du Lac teenager Lucas Lindner was driving his pickup truck, swerved to miss a deer, and ended up a quadriplegic. I remember watching that lady do the, the pin test and ask where he could feel stuff, and he never felt it. She would go, you know, all over, trying to get him to, to say that he could feel something. And, and that was one of the hardest things for me to watch. Right. With few options, he chose to participate in a clinical trial run by MCW neurosurgeon Dr. Shakar Kirpad. The general wisdom is once a person has a spinal cord injury, they're done for life. So they're permanently paralyzed, there's no hope of return to function. Lucas was one of six patients in the United States. Doctors injected stem cells into the patient to rejuvenate spinal tissue. Getting that strength to, to do the things that you always could do, it's, it's awesome. MCW doctors successfully regenerate a human esophagus within a patient's body. Dr. Coolwinder S. Dua's groundbreaking treatment made news around the world. The 24-year-old patient is still alive today because of this innovative treatment. When we put an endoscope down his throat, we go straight into his chest cavity. We don't even see an esophagus. Now, how can I make it into a tubular structure without it collapsing? I had to use a stent. Now that we have placed the stent, and the stent is not watertight, seal-proof, how about going and wrapping it with this tissue matrix? Tissue that attracts blood vessels, it's a tissue that attracts stem cells, and it also forms a nice seal. We took the patient's own blood, we spun it and took out platelets. That platelet was sprayed like a super glue onto this Roughly four years with the stents lying in his body, we went and took them out. We put an endoscope down and to our surprise, it looked as though nothing had happened. We saw in the area previously where there was no esophagus, a normal looking esophagus. The proof of the pudding was feeding tube is out now. He is doing great. He has no issues at all. Two stories of how research regenerates hope. When this first happened, I was, I was told, lock those doors and throw away the key. And I'm glad I didn't do that because they're, every, everything's there. Do it all. A healthier future starts here.